everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica if you're new here and today we're going to be going over my top 10 tips and tricks for a better skincare routine. So normally to start it off, I just want to let you know that I have my list over here. So if I glance over to the side, I'm just making sure I'm on track with my list. But um, number one is always washing your hands before you start any sort of skincare. So it's very important to have clean hands because you don't want to transfer any bacteria from your hands onto your face. So you want to first wash your hands with a good soap and maybe even an antibacterial soap and make sure that you're starting with clean hands before you go in to wash and cleanse and tone your face. Next thing on my list is sunscreen. So sunscreen is, is a huge one because there are very harmful rays from the sun and you don't want it to affect your skin. Um, a great one to use is zinc oxide. So a sunscreen primarily based off of zinc oxide because the thing that's cool with zinc oxide is that it actually rests on your skin. So it's not absorbed, it just sits on top of your skin and it actually is proven as a barrier whereas sunscreen could be absorbed and not as effective. So definitely I recommend looking into um, a sunscreen with zinc oxide. So number three on my list, and as I mentioned in my skincare video previously, my last video, is that always taking off your makeup is so important. I can't stress enough how important it is to take off your makeup because when you go outside there's pollution in the air there's dirt there's dust and if it's sticking on to your makeup and your makeup's already clogging your pores sometimes it's not good to let it sit while you're going to sleep so it's super important no matter how tired you are no matter the day you've had um, take out your cleanser take out your toner take out your moisturizer and take that time as a little bit of self-care and just take off your makeup you'll feel so much better at the end of that so that was number three. Um, number four is a big one because I know that sometimes I'm guilty of it if I'm going about my day and I'm wearing makeup and then I'm just like, oh, I'll go to the gym and leave my makeup on. I think it's so important to take your makeup off before you go to the gym because that way you're able to breathe. Your face is able to breathe. When you're sweating, you can just rinse it off right after. So that's why it's important. I mentioned in my skincare video that I use the dry Olay wipes. It's super convenient because you just throw it in your gym bag and before if you have makeup on, you just quickly rinse off all your makeup and after your workout which is also very important because you've sweat you've released all these toxins you want to quickly either just rinse your face off with cold water or you want to actually take your um, Olay wipe lather it up and actually wash off everything that's on your face you don't want to leave any of the toxins that you've just sweat out and work so hard at releasing so that was number four now number five on my list is um, stress and stress is a huge thing so I have a few tips for stress and the main one is just stay away so when you're stressed and what I mean by that is just stay away from the mirror I know it's so tempting when you see a pimple that you think is ready or you see a white head or a blemish do not pick I know it's so hard I've been victim to it tons of times where I see something and I'm like oh I'll just make it better I just need to get the head out or I just need to remove it and I pick it and most of the time it takes one longer to heal and two it just creates an area that is going to encourage more bacteria to come and more pimples to like more breakouts basically so it is super important to stay away when you're stressed so don't go to the mirror do something that relaxes you meditate read go and work out do something that makes you happy just don't pick i know it's so hard but it's a big factor to clearing skin once i stopped picking my face and once i truly stayed away from the mirror it changed the way that my skin was reacting so next one is um number six and it's a big one it kind of goes together with uh, stay away when you're stressed, but it's um, not touching your face during the day. So I know it's very tempting. Um, all throughout my undergrad degree, I was always like leaning on my face, touching my face whenever I was in lecture or whenever I was studying. But that was a huge thing because I noticed that I started breaking out on my cheeks, especially around my chin when I would lean or like put my hands all over it. I would get pimples all along the areas. And when I noticed that, I had to be so aware. Sometimes I'd sit on my hands during lecture Lecture. Sometimes I keep them busy with other things like pens, erasers, or just keep them on my laptop. It's so important to keep your hands away from your face. So number seven on my list is actually pimple stickers and these honestly changed my skincare. My skincare was altered with pimple stickers so I have a few of them here. I don't know if you can see them. So this one is um, the one from Kos RX. So it's actually a clear 
pimple sticker patch. So they go on completely clear. I can take them out of the packaging. They go on completely clear so you can see how they have a middle piece, but um, they go on completely clear on your pimples. And basically what they act as is they're hydrocolloid bandages. And these were used to heal wounds in the hospital and they were later adapted to pimple stickers. And basically what they act as is a healing bandage. So it keeps the area sterile, it keeps it um, in good condition for your pimple to actually go through the stages to heal. And what's even cooler about these is because of sort of the mesh um, that's in these bandages, there's areas that um, are able to actually pull out the sebum. So sebum is any of the oil on your face, so it's able to pull out the sebum. And sometimes if you had already previously picked your pimple and it is an open pimple, it will actually suck out any of the pus that's in there. So it's really cool that these actually do work. I've tested tons of them. This is my usual go-to because I usually wear them before bed whenever I have um, a pimple that I notice that I'm gonna pick if I, if I just leave it alone, I cover it. So I know that if it's covered, at least I won't be tempted to touch it. I know that something's on my face, it's taking care of it, and I just have to have faith that the pimple will sort itself out with these stickers. Something recent that I stumbled upon from Innisfree is the Bija Bija Trouble Focusing Patch. And basically what's cool about this, if I'm just gonna read it to you, it's enriched with Torea seed extract. And um, basically it's like these little, I don't know, it says here, an intensive care spot patch with micro essence chips containing the seed oil to work directly. So basically this bandage is actually, um, layered with the special seed oil and what it does is when you actually put it on your face it feels like little tiny spikes and it actually deposits the oil into the pimple so it actually works to fight the pimple and the bacteria so um next on my list and this is a huge one because i went through a phase where i had bangs as you can see they're so growing out but keep your hair away from your face so i know it's hard sometimes because you want to do hairstyles you want to have it nice and curly and in front but my biggest advice is just keep it away wear headbands when you go to the gym don't let your sweat drip down your face keep your hair away because your hair actually contains oils when it rubs up against your skin I know that it used to cause irritations and it used to actually bother my pimples and make them worse. So it's very important, keep it away from your face. And when you don't have that temptation to always tuck your hair behind your ear because it's falling forward. I know that I do that. I have to be super careful that I'm not actually touching my skin around there and bringing bacteria to my face. So it's very important, clip it back. I love clips, I use them all the time. Now that my bangs are growing out, just clip it back, get it out of your face. So um, next on my list is hydration keep hydrated so I know that I am known as like a water holic I drink water all the time this is a huge bottle I bring it to class and people laugh at me because it's so big but I know that it's so important that when you're hydrated you just feel better you feel more alert you feel more awake and your skin just looks so much more glowy and and refresh like you are hydrated your cheeks and your cells are happy so it is so important keep your water bottle around you I know that, that was a big thing when my friends were like hey, Erica like how do you drink so much water the important thing is you need to keep it handy you have to have a water bottle near you don't rely on buying a water bottle like at school like one of the disposable ones just keep it in your bag even if you don't want to fill it up right away if you think it's too heavy to carry around keep it empty that's what I do a lot of the time and then when I need water I know that my water bottles in my bag and I can just quickly go and fill it up like no problem so definitely water and keeping hydrated makes you feel good it'll make your skin feel good and it'll make it look even better so um, next on my list is sort of what, again, like what you're putting into your body. So this one is be mindful of what you're eating. So I know it's so tempting to eat junk food and to eat fast food and to eat sugary treats, but I know personally that when I do eat something that's super sugary, like cakes and sweets and desserts, that I do see that coming out of my skin. I know that when I go through a binge of sugary treats that I will get a breakout here or there. Um, I know an another trigger for me personally is dairy. So dairy has actually been completely cut out of my diet. I avoid it and it's very nice now that with this vegan trend, a lot of the food has become accessible for me so I can have my dairy alternatives that aren't gonna make me break out. And um, 
less sweet options so fruits and just whole grains like being able to eat health consciously your skin will thank you so it's important that if you see constant breakouts that you look at what you're putting into your body and see if that may be a factor or that may be a trigger for the acne on your face so um, that's the end of this video. Those are my 10 tips and tricks to keeping um, healthy skin, glowing skin, and skincare in general. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. If you learned anything new from my 10 tips and tricks, please give me a like. And um, for those who are new here, I'd love for you guys to subscribe. See you next time.